Hey, it's Duke at the Blooper in Spirals here. Welcome back to Daily Challenge. Daily Challenge is my effort to share what I challenge myself to learn every day with you. Every week, I will send to you at least 7 new iOS tutorials and courses via email. All you need to do is to subscribe to developerinspirals.io. Okay, in this daily challenge, I want to show you how to create, uh, how to transform view in UI view. So, this is the starter project that we create in the last daily challenge, in which we learn how to draw custom shape and we learn how to draw the shadow for those shape using core graphics. Okay. So let's download the starter project right down below and get right into it. Okay, I hope that you download the starter project and here it is. So I will open up the custom shapes and for this, let's run this one. This custom shape class is a subclass of UI view and all it does is it creates two uh, rectangles like that. So the draw right one the draw right one method, it will create this bluish rectangle with the shadow in which we create in the last daily challenge. The second method is draw right without shadow. It will create this purple rectangle. Okay. So in this one, I will show you how to use the transformation. So the first thing I want to do is I will create a transform and this transform, it will shift this down, this um, I want to shift this down 100 points in the X axis. Okay. So we would do, um, maybe over right over there, this one, the CG path at rect. I will add a comment transform view. Okay. So we would do var maybe shift down equals. Then I will have to call a method called CG affine transform make translation. Okay. So it does sound complicated, but it's just the way that they call the method. So I would do CG affine transform make translation. And for this, what all it does is it will create this transformation matrix or some kind of uh, equation in math. Okay. And all it does, it will shift this accordingly with the parameters that you provide. Let's say I call this 100 points and the Y is zero points. So all it does is it will shift this down 100 points and the Y stays the same because it's zero. But if you specify as negative 100, then it will shift it up 100. Okay. So let's do that. So, oh, I forgot to tell you that we will have to call this, add this shift down into this nil and it will be ampersand shift down. And why is it ampersand? Because this ampersand will make the shift down ampersand shift down to be the memory address of this because the core graphics, this method is written in C in the programming language called C and it needs an, um, it needs the memory address of this transformation like that. So let's draw this. So see that at first it's over there and now it's over there. So what, what's the point of this? Well, for this transformation, you can apply to the UI view dot view with duration or with the spring animation. And it will, you can use the view dot transform property. And this view dot transform property, it will animate this from this to this. Okay. And in this one, I want to show you that we can use the transform to uh, shift it. So what the UI view dot animate does is it will, you will need to specify two transform. The first transform is the first, um, the first position. The second transform is this transform, which is the position you want to, um, you want to animate it to, right? Or the destination transform, right? So next, what else can this transform thing do for us? Well, we can do things like, um, we can, we can, uh, seize the size or we can increase the size. So let's do that. I would do var 
um, decrease size, which is CG affine transform transform. And for this one, we will use the MAC scale. So we will return to an affine transformation matrix constructed from scaling values you provide. All it does is it will, if we apply this transform to this view, which is this rectangle, it will squeeze, it will squeeze, it will in decrease the size by the scale we do. So if we do two, it will double the size. If we do 0 0.5, it will, it will uh, decrease the size into half of it. And right now we have to do this into decrease size like that, right? So then it moves back to the original place and it downgrades to the um, original size. I'm sorry, to half of the size. Okay, what else can it do for us? So before talking to that, uh, if we apply this into the UI view animate, then it will slowly shrink down the size. And if you notice in the some of the app that Facebook uses, when you animate from one view controller to another view controller, the 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 from view controller or the current view controller, it's a little bit in decreases the size of the view. So it makes a sense like like that view. It's pushed back to the to the back of the scene, and another view pushed down. So maybe we will talk about that way of animation about view controller animation in an in the coming daily challenge. Okay, so let's talk about another another thing about this transform thing. So we can do things like we can rotate this. We can rotate using the transformation matrix. So I would do let the first thing I want to do, I will need to specify a degree by which I want to transform. So this is a tie CG float. And then I would specify 45.0 times M pi. So this is, um, we will shift at 20, um, 90 degree so over 100 degree. Okay. And then next I would do var uh, rotate equals CG affine transform rotation, make rotation. Okay. I mess up here. Make rotation. All right. And this I have to specify the degree. So all it does is it will have the original transform. It will has the original degree over here and then it will rotate that. So let's put it here, rotate. Okay, and then let's run that. And then you will see that this will be rotate uh, 45 degrees. So it's 45 degrees over there. So it is rotated, okay? I hope that you have been enjoying this tutorial. Leave me a comment or question below and I will be reviewing comments and answering questions personally. If you want free iOS courses, visit me at developerinspirus.io. Create an account and join our free courses. Until next time, go out there, learn new things, create new products, and contribute to the world.